Battletoads! It's a pretty great game, and especially with the Battletoads appearing in other games like Shovel Knight, Killer Instincts, Rare Replay on Microsoft's Xbox 359 Steps Back console, why don't we take a look at the original on the NES? Released in 1991 by Rare, this game is most well known for being one of the most difficult games on the NES, and sorting out the weak gamers and the good gamers. I mean, it's true, this game reveals whether you're a little whiner who complains about games being too difficult and mean to them, or you're actually someone who mans up, beats this game, and shows it who's the boss around here, and how much of a badass you are. Now, I did suck ass at the game, and I hated it when I got to the later levels for my first time and died a lot. But after manning up, having lots of patience, persistence, wisdom, and not being a sucking at video game noob, but how bad of turns is impossible to beat, I was able to beat this game's ass and finish it every time I played it. It's my little bitch now, and one of my favorite games on the NES. The story to this game is your friend Pimple, yes, Pimple, because the toads are named after acne problems alongside Rash and Zitz. Next thing you know, they'll be named after STDs. Ugh. Anyways, Pimple and the princess have been captured by the Dark Queen, or as me and D. Tysonator referred to her as... Dark, Dark Bitch. And as you expect, you've got to rescue them. That's pretty much the plot on par with Mario. Real original there, Rare. 9 out of 10? Would read again. Anyways, you make your way through 12 levels, each of them being different and unique in its own way, plus the final boss, which is its own level for some reason. You go through a lot in the original Battletoads, because the one thing I noticed is, unlike future Battletoads-related games where the focus is more on beat-em-ups, the first game has more focus on platforming and racing levels than it does the beat-em-up parts. It's more like Battletoads NES has beat-em-up elements instead of being based entirely on it, and that's what I really grew to like about the first game. It's that each level is different from the last one, and it keeps itself fresh, interesting, and different, without just being an endless barrage of beating up enemies like the Konami arcade games like the Ninja Turtles, which Battletoads is a parody of. Which I do enjoy playing, but those do get monotonous after a while. That's not to say you don't fight enemies in Battletoads, you do have to beat up some minions at certain points in the game to proceed, with simple but satisfying combat where you finish off your enemies with a big POW at the end, like BAM! Right in the face, bitch! I almost expected to see Adam West's Batman punching effects to appear. Battletoads! Battletoads! But for the majority of the levels in the game, you don't fight a whole lot of enemies, and if you're skilled enough, you can actually just use the strong moves to beat them faster. Some levels you're just racing towards the end, some levels you're just platforming your way to the goal, and for the most part, you're going to be fighting bosses in certain levels. The bosses in Battletoads are a lot of fun to fight. They can be difficult to fight if you don't learn how to play the game, as most of them do have strategies to make them easier to deal with, but still challenging enough and is one of those types of fight where if you slip up, you die. Ah yes, dying. Now, most of you may be wondering, is Battletoads truly as difficult as people claim it to be, or is it just a bullshit shitbowl of whiny players? Well, that I can definitely answer. Now, even though I do like Battletoads a lot and being good at it, I'm not so arrogant that I can't point out the flaws and bullshit in the game, because it does have a couple and is especially more present in the last few levels. So, is it as hard as the majority of players and other reviews claim it to be? No, it's not that difficult. I find people typically whine about the early levels as I'm pretty confident they just don't know how to play the game right, or even bother to learn how easy the game actually is, as there are strategies to playing Battletoads if they just learn how to play it like any other game. Which they don't, and they just blame the game for being too hard, thus making them weak, whiny gamers that don't know how to judge a game properly. So yeah, if you ever tell me that Battletoads is too difficult to beat, or how it's impossible to beat, then, well, I can't take your word seriously, because you just suck. And fuck you. But on the other hand, is it actually difficult? Well, as someone who knows most of the ins and outs of the game, yes, it is difficult. Not as a whole, in my opinion, but in specific levels like the last three levels or so. My reason for this is that for the first nine levels, there are definite strategies that make those levels easier to beat, and the trial and error you encounter isn't that bad as long as you actually learn from it. The last three levels or so, however, there is next to no strategies that will help you other than just getting good at it. Which is why I say those levels are the most difficult. Which, even after I got good at those levels, I still consider them difficult as I have to focus whenever I reach those levels. 
Oh shit, what the fuck was I doing? Another thing that makes Battletoads difficult for most people is the amount of lives and continues you are given. It's not an unreasonable amount, and you can get more lives, like for example in level 2 you can juggle the birds till you get a 1-up. But it would be nice and more favorable to Battletoads if it has unlimited continues so people can at least practice the levels, like with the NES Ghost and Goblins, another difficult game for terrible reasons than Battletoads, and if it wasn't for the infinite continues, I'm pretty sure Ghost and Goblins NES would have been regarded as the most frustrating piece of shit game to play. But then you gotta think, if Battletoads did have unlimited continues, would it be easier or still just as hard? Well, still just as hard, except you can at least attempt to finish it. So yes, Battletoads is and can be difficult, just not for the same reasons that other people and other reviewers may say it is, and making the game look bad and more difficult than it actually is. Speaking of looks, for an NES game, the graphics are detailed and done very well with each level having a very distinct look and feel to it. Except Rat Race. What's also well done is the music too, and the music is really good. I have most of the tracks in my music folder. There is also an interesting thing to note now that I mentioned the music. Battletoads is originally made to be played in the PAL format at 50Hz, but when Battletoads got released in America, they didn't change or correct the PAL format to NTSC for our TVs, which ran at 60Hz. This slight change in 10Hz is part of the reason why the game is more difficult, as the game now runs slightly faster than it was intended to be, making what should have been easier segments in the game harder harder, like say for instance the turbo tunnels which everyone complains about. What does that have to do with the music? Well see, in the NTSC Battletoads the music is actually good because it got sped up to 60 hertz, which made the music have a better beat to play to, unlike the original which if you listen to it at 50 hertz, well, let's just say it hurts to listen to that one. Bad puns, bad puns. Basically, the original speed of the music kind of sucked. Because it kind of felt like your heart rate was going slower and that you were slowly dying inside. Not good. Also, because they didn't fix the regional differences, it causes a glitch in level 11 where you can't play it with two players, and the second player has to die. Now, it makes the American version look sloppy, but it's actually a blessing in disguise, because playing Klinger Winger in two player is really, really difficult if either player sucks at the level. And the glitch is only in the American version, as the PAL version, being originally made in the PAL format, doesn't have that problem, and neither does the Japanese version since they fixed it while modifying a few other things to make their version easier. Which on that note about versions, I don't recommend playing Battletoads on emulators because if the frame rate isn't stable or you don't lock it somehow, you're gonna have an even harder time playing Battletoads, much less beating it normally. I managed to beat it without save states, but it definitely was not easy with the constant flickering and inconsistent frame rate, or at least when I was playing it. Now, what else could I talk about? Well, I already made that top 11 video about which levels I think are the hardest, a guide for beginners on how to beat Battletoads. Well, you could mention the two players. Many ninjas? What are you doing here? Well, I heard you were talking about the Toads of War, so I wanted to be here to see it. Well, see, you kind of came a little late because the review's almost over. Still didn't talk about the two-player mode? Yes, 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 the two-player mode can be very hard to play if either player sucks and aren't well-coordinated, as the weaker player can and will drag the stronger player back. And yes, hitting each other can be annoying if you suck ass at the game, but I'm not going to deny it would be nice to have the option to not hit each other. But beating a two-player is definitely not impossible. Difficult, sure, but not impossible, like what the whiny players will say, as once again, there are strategies to the two-player mode, and in fact, some levels and boss fights are much easier with two players, like beating the rat race and fighting Robo Manus. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. And having beaten all versions of Battletoads 1 and 2 players on the NES with my friend D. Tysonator and doing crazy challenges like back-to-back -back no death run with both Toads, I can definitely say all of that with confidence and facts to back it up. But still, what do I think of Battletoads? Overall, despite a few mishaps and flaws that could be fixed, Battletoads is still a great game with variety in its gameplay, it's challenging, it has nice graphics with a really good soundtrack in the North American version, and that I would definitely recommend the game, with a bit of caution but still worth owning, especially to see whether you're a winner or a whiner. Well, Wizwar, you seem insistent on how wrong other gamers whine about Battletoads. Well, it's true. I mean, having beaten and played all versions of Battletoads on the NES through and through, I'm confident to say that I have a good overview of the entire game as a whole. Now, is the game perfect? No, it's not perfect. It still has some flaws and some levels I'm not too fond of, but you know what? They're not game breakers, except for the glitches that are, while there are some that are helpful and neat, the others are just kind of a load of ass. But still, I recommend Battletoads as a game, and definitely a game worth owning. Ah, but do you own the Genesis version of Battletoads? There's a Genesis version of Battletoads? Yes, and in fact, the Genesis version does what Nintendo don't. Well, I wouldn't know because I don't have a copy of it. Here's one. Well, that's bizarro. How'd you send the game? Ninja Mail. They'll never see it coming. Well, I saw it because of editing magic, but I can't wait to see what Genesis Battletoads has in store for me. So let's check it out. Six hours later. What the suck fuck from a duck did I just play? The Toads of War, Wizwar. The Toads of War. And you're in it! <laughs> Damn you, many ninjas! Damn you! <laughs> Ouch. Dark, dark bitch. She's the dark queen. Dark, dark, dark bitch. The big bad queen. Dark, dark, dark bitch. She kills in three hits. Dark, dark, dark bitch. Woof for spinning kicks. Dark, dark bitch. She takes 20 hits. Dark, dark, dark bitch. To bring the queen down. Dark, dark, dark bitch. Sometimes it's more. Dark, dark, dark bitch. Just one more. Dark, dark, dark bitch. Cause you punched too much. Dark, dark, dark bitch. And gave her more health. Dark, dark, dark bitch. What the flying toad? Dark, dark, dark bitch. How did that work? Dark, dark, dark bitch. We just don't know. Dark, dark, dark bitch. Because she's the queen. Dark, dark, dark bitch. The big bad queen. Dark, dark, dark bitch. The dominatrix queen. Dark, dark bitch. But she's going down. Dark, dark bitch. No matter what. Dark, dark bitch. We're going to save. Dark, dark bitch. Our best friends here. Dark, dark bitch. Pimple and the princess. Dark, dark bitch. We'll set them free. Dark, dark bitch. By beating this queen. Dark, dark bitch. With 20 headbutts. Dark, dark bitch. Back and forth. Dark, dark bitch. The ins and outs of the games. Yes, it is difficult. God damn it, why did I crack?